Time now, 6.52. It might be unhelpful staff, it may be long queues or untidy shops. It does seem, though, that there is plenty to get annoyed about when it comes to customer service. A new survey suggests that when these things happen, we either walk out or give up. And ultimately, that means less money changing hands. We'll discuss this in a moment. But first, we ask people in Newcastle about their shopping experiences. Say hello, you know, ask you if you need any help, but when they keep coming over and they try and force you to buy things, I'm not really a fan of that. <laughs> when you're looking for something and there's nobody around to, to ask, that's, I'm finding that more and more when you go into shops. People who ignore you before you when, you when you're looking around a shop or walking into an office or something like that. Standing at a checkout and no one's serving, <laughs> basically wanting to buy something but not being served. If there's too many queues and there's not enough of cashiers to cover, to, to cover maybe the checkouts that are there. That's what puts us off, and I won't wait then, I'll just go somewhere else. Just people who are a bit sort of off with you or snappy or a bit rude. Or I, I understand everybody has a bad day. Even I have a bad day sometimes, but a uh, smile doesn't cost anything really, does it? Mm, interesting. Joining us now is Helen Dudeney, who writes, about a blog, writes a blog about her experiences and helps other people complain. So, Helen, what should we be doing? What are we, what are we doing wrong? Uh, what the customer service is doing wrong or what we're not well, doing Well, what are customers it? doing wrong when they experience bad customer service and, and not complaining? Do, do you think we should be doing more? We should definitely be doing more to complain, absolutely. Um, when I've complained, a lot of the time I make change happen. And quite often the companies don't know what they don't know. So if you don't tell them what's going wrong, they can't put it right. So, for example, I've recently complained to... Um, uh, uh, a company and they're putting training in place for the staff, they're changing their systems because uh, one of the big complaints I think people find are being pushed from pillar to post. When you phone up and you get told, oh no, you've got to speak to this person, you've got to speak to that person, um, so they're changing one of those those systems. So it's about sort of bringing change really. It is, sorry, is the problem that we don't like to complain in this country, we feel a bit awkward about it? I think, um, I think generally, yes. I don't have a problem with complaining, clearly. Um, but uh, a lot of people do. A lot of my friends, a lot of people since doing the blog, a lot of people have come to me and said, how do I do it? They don't know their legal rights quite often. Um, a lot of people don't know their legal rights. A lot of people don't know how to go about doing the complaint, who they write to. And then quite often, when you write to the customer services to complain about a service, you quite often get fobbed off or, you know, that's it sorry or not even that when some people are usually just looking for a for a sorry um, so there's lots of reasons I think really it's the 17th of November and I don't want to upset anyone on a Sunday morning but if anyone is like me and hasn't even thought about Christmas and Christmas shopping yet we're all going to be getting a little bit twitchy and when I'm going to go out and do my Christmas shopping if I have to go out on the hall among the hordes and I get bad customer service it's easier for me to just walk out mm -hmm. of the shop than to take time to complain because I just have too much to do. Isn't yeah. that half of the problem? And also yes. perhaps shops take advantage of that, particularly at this time of year. Yes. Um, although I complain a lot, I tend not to do it at the time because I get really het up and you, you, know, you lose your argument then. Mm. So I'll go home and I'll write it. You've got to be calm, I'll haven't you? It. Otherwise, yeah. if you just yeah, lose your temper, that's yeah. a, and you that's forget, I forget that you know you can forget your rights. You can forget what to say. You can get cross. Whereas. At home, in front of an email, you can put, and you can go delete. If you speak it, you can't <laughs> How, delete it. Do you think um, in, uh, retailers are becoming better at acknowledging issues that customers have? Because often there's a feeling that actually, that what's the point in me complaining? Because they're not going to take any notice. Unless I have 500 people behind me, my, my, my one voice isn't going to be heard. Do you think they care anymore? Uh, is it getting better? Do you know, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. In the last couple of years, I've written to CEOs, I've written to um, customer services, it's being passed down, it's being passed up, and I would say there's a mixture, whatever size, of being ignored, which is a, which is a common problem. Um, so I think... I don't know if it's getting... I don't think it's getting better but, or worse. I it, think it's generally quite poor. People have the option of going on, say, to Twitter, for example, mm -hmm. and, and that puts fear into a lot of companies, doesn't it? Because if you, if you do create a, a momentum, then they're going to take more notice than they would have done in years gone by if you just wrote a letter and, and you were the only person who knew mm -hmm. about it. I think so, but there is, a, there is a problem with the social media in that you're restricted to 140 characters on Twitter. Mm. <laughs> and really, when I've, whenever I, I've done it, it's to get them to acknowledge a complaint that I've already emailed. So you can um, you can do it very, very short. And I've heard about people putting complaints on Facebook and the companies delete them. 
So although it's there and it's an added tool, quite often I found that um, the customer service people behind Twitter don't have the tools to actually deal with your complaint. That's happened to me too. What should people watch out for and what should people be mindful of when they're shopping now and they have a bad experience and they want to have it resolved there and then? What's the best way to tackle it? Uh, speak to somebody there and then and if you're not getting what you want, uh, ask to speak to the manager. Don't lose your temper. I and don't it. lose your temper. Don't be rude either. You know, don't be rude. Don't get angry. Um, and, the, and be calm, but assertive. That's, you know, that's the thing. Assert your legal rights. Helen, thanks very much. Happy shopping. <laughs> <laughs> don't get too angry, OK? No, <laughs> it's Christmas. Shops now are going to be, oh, <laughs> they're, they're looking out for you, yeah. Helen. I'm sure <laughs> they will. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up.